हेलो डॉक्टर्स एंड वेलकम बैक आई एम हेयर अगेन विद सम न्यू स्टफ इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस ऑफ नीट पीजी 2019 पार्ट वन सो मोर आर कमिंग डू सब्सक्राइब एंड बी इन टच सो लेट्स बिगिन द फर्स्ट वन आई रिमेंबर विच नर्व पासिस थ्रू द फोरम एन मार्क डबअप सो दे हैव आस्क अबाउट मैंडिबुलर फोरम एन एंड द इमेज वॉज दिस like this image and uh, the answer options were lingual nerve cord tympani nerve mandibular nerve and inferior alveolar nerve now it's very confusing questions and options also um, because they have also mentioned because we know that this is a mandibular foramen and uh, they have also included in the options mandibular nerve but the answer was inferior alveolar nerve now the next question uh, this hand picture was given and uh, <clears throat> the highlighted part in yellow the nerve innervates the part which is highlighted in yellow and the options were radial nerve median nerve ulnar nerve and axillary nerve and the answer was radial nerve this was a little easy if someone has got that concepts well of anatomy anatomy you will get it well now the next question of this dissected hand was given and was asked about this the arrow was marked and asked that which structure is this so of which tendon sorry of muscle tendon was asked so the options were encunius brachioradialis flexor digitorum longus flexor digitorum profundus the answer was break your radial tendon <clears throat> now identify the structure above in the ct image mri image was given and uh, they have asked to identify the structure above so many confusing options also here mm, might be confusing between the fornix and pineal gland also and fox cerebri may be not heard by everyone this is so this was fornix not pineal gland or great vein of gallen and fox cerebri so the answer is fornix the structure mark was fornix now this one question that yes no movement is allowed at which joint so uh, this is the answer c1 c2 atlanto occipital joint also called yes movement no movement joint there see you can see the image between the first and second cervical vertebra they help in your yes and no movement now the other one during surgery of the area marked above which nerve is more damaged so facial nerve greater auricular nerve temporal nerve and maxillary nerve so as you all know here the gland present is parotid gland and uh, this is a parotid abscess kind of thing also if the surgery is done for this part this involves the parotid gland and mostly here is the nerve is facial nerve so also very common and very very much used syndrome fray syndrome is you have heard of was the syndrome affected if the facial nerve did damaged so many more com question parts coming with the image based questions they have asked in the neat pg 2019 so stay tuned and uh, hope this is helpful for your evaluation part thank you